a woman who killed her toddler son as part of what she called a ritual sacrifice will be sentenced to life in prison after taking a plea agreement before trial. Egypt Munek Robinson, 31, entered a plea of no contest in court Tuesday to charges of first-degree felony murder and aggravated child abuse in exchange for waiving her right to pursue an insanity defense. Robinson had been found incompetent to proceed with a trial during a mental evaluation in September of last year and was ordered to a state mental institution for treatment. In April, she was found competent to proceed and later entered her plea. Robinson was adjudicated guilty by the court on all counts and will be sentenced to life in prison for the murder charge, along with a concurrent 30-year sentence for the aggravated child abuse. If the case had gone to trial, the state would have pursued the death penalty. In a swamp behind Robinson's Callaway home on December 29, 2015, law enforcement found the body of her three-year-old son, Aries Juan Acevedo, stuffed in a suitcase. He'd been stabbed in the chest, and a piece of concrete was found lodged in his throat. As a sheriff's deputy approached Robinson to arrest her, she allegedly told him she had killed her son to save him from a biblical flood and asked to be taken to jail. A cellmate of Robinson later came forward and told authorities that Robinson admitted to killing her child, but that Robinson didn't believe it was wrong, saying the toddler had the soul of Hitler and she needed to kill him to save humanity. In the months leading up to the murder, Robinson expressed similar ideas to her co-workers at the Red Rose Gentlemen's Club in Fort Walton Beach, according to testimony in her court file. Investigators spoke to several dancers who said Robinson showed an interest in conspiracy theories and spirituality. One woman testified that Robinson told her there would be a spiritual war soon and that she, Robinson, would be the savior of that war, that she was Eve incarnate, and asked about blood sacrifices. But at least one psychologist, according to court filings made recently, believed she may have been intentionally exaggerating or feigning signs of mental illness to try and stop court proceedings, though both psychologists involved in her most recent competency hearing found she did show signs of several major mental illnesses. Court records did not indicate where Robinson would serve out her sentence.